Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life. Uh, you can see I'm in the shop, so not outdoors, but tonight's video is going to be a couple things. We've already been working with the retrievers right after work, so we'll put some retriever footage in here. The puppies are um, doing great, I think. I mean, I'm not if you set low expectations for your puppies, you don't get disappointed, right? Kind of like with your kids. But you have to expect a lot, too. At some point, you got to expect a lot from both the kids and the retrievers. So anyway, you'll see the retriever foot is there. You can see behind me here is the old English gate we're working on. I don't know if we'll probably not put that footage in this video. I think what I'm going to do there is I'm going to put together several different videos of that project and just do that as one single project. All right, we got Dolly here, our British lab puppy. She's getting her started. We'll throw the dumper out. We'll throw the bumper out there just a little ways. So what we're doing here with Dolly, she's brand new at this retrieving thing, but I'm already giving her that expectation of I'm holding the leash, don't go until I say your name, and then I send her. She's doing pretty well with it already. Something about the British labs, they just seem to be a little more awkward than their American cousin. Here is Dolly, good girl. Here. See it? Simple retrieves, about 20 yards, plain sight, easy for her to see. She didn't quite go far enough. There she found it. Let's go, bring it back. All right here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right, good girl. See it? See it? Good girl, come here. Good girl, good girl. We're gonna work on a few in the water here and you can probably hear my spaniel. She's in the dog box in the truck. She is raring to go. Come on. Good girl, good girl. All right, now shake. <laughs> good girl, good girl. Ready? All right, sit. Dolly. See it? See it? She might be, she might jump off the end of the pier. You think? May give it a try in a minute. Might ruin her, but we can try it, I guess. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Good girl. Good girl over here. Over here. Come on. Come on, bait down this way. Come here. Good girl. Okay, let's get here on the end of the pier and let's see what she does. We won't throw it far, but we won't throw it off the end of the pier and see if she'll run and get it. No, she said, I'm going to jump down on the ground and go around. Can't say they blame her. Well, she decided not to go at all that time. We have to go get the spaniel to go get that one. The spaniel was itching to go, so I went and got her out of the truck, and this is her going across the water here. Uh, she is a half Brittany spaniel, half Boykin spaniel. She just turned one year old last week. So I threw that one all the way to the far edge of the this side of the pond, about a four acre pond here. Let's see what she does. She's going to go, she went, she went straight to it. My guess is she'll run the bank and come around rather than swim all the way back. So. Hard to argue with being smart enough to run around, but I know that you're supposed to want them to come straight back. Okay, we got them both sitting here side by side. Now, Dolly doesn't have a leash. She should know, I'm sorry, Sadie, the brown dog, doesn't have a leash. She should know to be still. We're going to have to just send Dolly when she sees it go. Stay, Sadie. Stay. Go get it, Dolly. Good job, Sadie. We'll see what Dolly does here. Come on, Dolly. Come on. Stay. Come on, all the way back. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And that was good. That's it for today's episode of King's Outdoor Life. On these dog training episodes in real life, they're short and sweet. Not high expectations, not high pressure. Just give them simple tasks to do and reinforce those tasks. I took out a few of the uh, clips where things didn't go just right and we did 
kind of go back and say, all right, let's do that again and do it right this time. But really only with Sadie, the brown dog. She's a year old. She knows a little more. We can put some higher expectations on her. On Dolly, the six-month-old, just getting started, very low expectations and really no um, discipline at this point much, mainly because she is very tender-hearted. But what I'll close with is know your dog. You have to know your dog, what they can take, how much they can take, even scolding at all, or just always positive, always positive, and eventually they'll get it. But again, the key is knowing your dog and repetition, repetition, repetition. Hope you enjoyed it. Click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Thanks.